Hi, Psychobackers. We are back here for a special festive holiday edition of Happy the Psychonauts 2 update. I am Tim Schaefer. This is Zach McClendon. Zach McClendon. So uh, let's catch everybody up on where the project is. Where's the project right now, Zach? Uh, we are headed into Alpha. Uh, Alpha, what's that? Uh, it's an important development milestone where basically everything that is supposed to be in the game is represented in some form. So in all a the beautiful levels, final form. Uh, no, but everything is uh, represented in the game in some form, um, and it's just starting to play, feedback, and polish it from there. Once we hit Alpha, mostly everything will just be in there. Yes, there won't be any crazy it. new like, hey, what about this new level? That no. won't happen. I did have an idea for a new level the other day. I want to talk to you about it. Okay, no. good. You have uh, two accomplishes, various strike teams? Yes, our art strike team. So um, the way that we did levels, uh, and we had a fake update about this in the past, so you can go back and watch that one, um, is our levels have been created by individual level teams, which was a concept artist, a uh, level artist, and a designer. Um, and they were going through and making the levels from scratch. And then once those levels get up to the period where they can be arted, um, we sort of got the full flow in and the quest, uh, we moved over to doing art strike teams where we take all those artists across all those levels and we divided them up into two strike teams and they charge through the levels very quickly, putting uh, first pass alpha ready art. Starting after Labor Day, okay. are going to tag team levels in this order. Things, things I don't know, we will have to make hard calls. Um, so over the last couple of months, we've had them sweeping through the entire game like elves, just adding art to every little corner and getting rid of all of the temporary placeholder stuff we call white box. So all the white box is going out and there's real first pass art uh, going in for alpha. The thing to remember is that we're not shipping this. Yes. That's, <laughs> we're, working, we're working through it. We're getting it's it ready. It's hard not to polish it, it's we're, so fun. I know, I know. We're getting it ready so we can polish it. Yeah, okay. The goal is to be as fast as possible so we can flesh this out because then design will see the full vision and then there will be another round of polish after that. So we don't want to make things too precious. Yet. Okay. <laughs> after Alpha, then yes, but not now. Not now. <laughs> and they're being led by uh, Jeff Solis, who's our lead environment artist, um, and so he's sort of directing the strike teams. And we're, we're you know we're beginning to grow to the end of the game, which is always tough. Like the the adage that the 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 last ten percent is the you know what is it ninety percent? No oh, fuck, I don't know. you know what I'm talking. about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the last ten percent of the game is always the hardest, and that's that is absolutely where we're at right now. And it's a real kind of like lightning round style of development. They come in every other day, play the level, look at what's there, they talk about what the plan is for it, um, and then uh, Lizette, our art manager, is also helping to run the strike teams and coordinate it because there's just so much stuff going into the game very, very fast. Yeah, that's great. I've heard they're both very good. They're both very, very good. So far, so good. I'm a little worried about Jeff. He's got a lot on his plate, so I'm trying to alleviate that as much as I can. It's, it's an insane amount of work, but I don't, I don't hate it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's, it's inspiring to see all the stuff come together, especially when you go walk through a space and you actually see the art and you get a sense of the mood and the feeling. <laughs> I want to thank everyone who like really put a ton of work into this in the last three weeks. <laughs> yeah, three weeks. Yeah. 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 Lots of work. What lovely strike teams we have. That was a good idea having strike teams. Lovely, lovely strike teams you have. Uh, also exciting things, I heard we made a trailer. For we did make a trailer. Have you seen it? Uh, Hello? Mr. Keeley. Uh, yeah, well we're making a trailer. We've got, we've got scripts, we have uh, shot lists coming together, so it's all happening. Well, that's great to hear. What about that? Like, Alpha and Trailer hitting at the same time. It's bad timing. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Psychonauts has great word of mouth, uh, but I think that, like, as a broad appeal, there's a lot of people who have no clue what this game is. So getting, getting it into something like the VGAs is, is a big... It's, it's going to be real helpful for us. So. Trailers are always kind of terrifying because, especially like the first one where you're showing the game, for one thing, there's a problem because, especially on Psychonauts, you want to keep a lot of secrets because a lot of the, the fun of the Psychonauts game is all the crazy surprises. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to ruin any surprises for people. Mm -hmm. 
So we wanted to um, come up with something new. So I, I wrote a whole new script. It's all new dialogue just for the trailer. So that didn't spoil any cutscenes, hopefully, by just writing new stuff. And then we tried to use some things uh, for the game, make some new things and not show too much, but show just enough that people can tell that it's going to be a great game. Um, uh, facts look good. That looks awesome. This looks super good. His eyes are milky. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to talk about um, uh, simming or animating his coat. Um, sim doesn't work in sequencer. Okay. At all. It's not, is this jacket rig? It's not. It's not. It's not. So we'll have to there add should be a reflection capture. It makes sense because there's a bull shot. There's nothing in front of him. It'll take me uh, approximately 15 seconds. If they work. Saves time. This thing's due on Wednesday. <laughs> You're gonna film me having a heart attack on camera. That'd be pretty great. Yeah, I feel like garbage. Uh, working late yesterday did not help that at all. High levels of panic. The medium levels of panic. To very high levels of panic. To now I'm just like like moderate. Oh my god. We're maybe like 90% of the way there. Looking at the drab, dismal uh, lighting that we've gotten in and trying to bring some more uh, focus into it. Actually, there is nothing outside this window. <laughs> That's not actually there. It's a, it's a full cube map, so it's a 360 degree screen grab of the quarry, and then Tazio has a shader on this window that warps it and bends it out, and then nothing outside. Pretty good, I mean, for Tazio, it's pretty good. We have this exporter issue for, um, we can't figure out why certain sub-levels aren't being loaded when we're exporting our, our shots for the trailer. Uh, but I don't know, I think we'll figure it out eventually. It's just one of those things. We're also coming up on five o'clock. So yeah, it, it, it does feel like something that's important to have represented, even though it's annoying, man. I'm sorry. Whew. Yeah, the sorting issue again. The sorting issue again, but now it's just- Wow, that looks nice. Wait, that was- Right? <laughs> I think it looks nice! Why can't I get but it? Whatever we choose, we do. Yeah. There's also those options in the particles. Yeah. I am... The thing that no one's talked about here is... If we change... Hi, hi James. So, the, the team really rose to the challenge, I think, and they worked really hard to make a really great trailer. I was hoping for a star wipe. <laughs> One more time. One more time for Tim. Whatever you do, just leave me out of it. Woo! Is that honey pepper, boy, bacon? Beautiful. Oh, awesome. I like the new effects on the bacon guy coming out. Bacon, what's the color? Or coming out of here. Bacon guy. The bacon guy? Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Awesome. Good. It came out great, and the whole team got to watch the trailer and feel the excitement of people responding to what they've been working on for these years, low these many years. Yeah. Uh, it was really great, because often when you make a trailer, you just sort of make the trailer, and then it just goes out, and it's on the internet. Um, and, but doing it at the Game Awards was really suspenseful and exciting, because the whole team got to sit here uh, in our, our Lola lounge um, and wait for it to come on, and we weren't really sure where it was going to come on during the evening, and every single time they would jump to a new trailer, they'd be like, oh, is this going to be us? Awesome? So the team got very excited about it. We're not dead. We're not dead. Oh. Everybody stopped taking pee breaks. Uh, we just had to wait for it to happen. So when you watch the footage of us watching, everyone has to go to the bathroom. They probably really, all have really to go to the bathroom. bad. Yeah, and maybe some of them did because it was it was pretty exciting. put that out there in a way that people could see and respond to and some of the biggest Psychonauts fans sort of posted reactions online. Um, There's just like a lot of warmth and love and excitement coming out about the trailer, which yeah. is great to see.
I wonder if they know we're watching their reaction videos. They, put, I, they put them on the internet. I watch, yeah. Friends. Really? God damn it, what is this? This is amazing! Hi. I like your reaction videos. It's really a cool nice. Thing. It'll make it their means day. a lot. Like, it I'm, means a lot. Well, uh, in other news, we have some new backer reward mm. updates. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for wearing your sweater. It's mandatory now. Behold. And will this unlock his character in Smash? If I just put it on the... Yeah, if you hold the, this over yeah. your um, Switch, he'll obviously unlock a lot of stuff in Smash. We're here to announce Raz appearing as a playable character in Smash Brothers. Um, if you announce it, it has to happen. That's, uh, that's our update for the holidays. Yeah, there'll be more news in the new year, but we wanted to say thanks for watching, happy holidays, and happy new year. Happy holidays year. from the whole Psychonauts 2 team. I always feel like every yeah. one of these is going to end with just slightly too long of a take of us acting awkward. It's the, that's what they love. You guys love yeah, that. They love you it. just love it. You just love it. This just is it right now. You're making out. it right now. They're using it right now. now.